Me and uh, him are going to do it first. Can I get in here? Alright. Okay. Alright, so okay. we're all going to cheer, okay? Okay. Just give me my money! Yeah! Yeah! Just give me my money! Yeah! Yeah! Fucking money! <laughs> Few would dare to prank a living legend, let alone the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. Known for his fierce reputation both inside and outside the boxing ring, Tyson isn't someone many would casually mess with. Yet Milan Tyson, Mike's 16-year-old daughter, and an aspiring tennis star, took that very bold step. Armed with nothing more than a smartphone, a viral trend, and her father's good humor, Milan pulled off a prank that left Jake Paul with an honest and brutal reaction. The prank in question? The viral Just Give Me My Money Challenge, a social media trend that has taken platforms like TikTok and Instagram by storm. The idea for the trend is simple. A group of people, usually friends or family, gathers in a circle and takes turns chanting, just give me my money, while clapping along. However, the twist comes when it's the prank victim's turn, as everyone stops clapping, leaving the person hanging in an awkward silence. For Milan, the target of this mischievous trend was none other than her father, Mike Tyson. In the clip posted to her Instagram story, you see Mike standing amongst a group of family members, participating in what seems like an innocent challenge. He claps along with everyone else, playing his part without suspecting a thing. Then comes his moment, he shouts the phrase, only to be met with silence. The family members who were previously clapping suddenly freeze, leaving Mike standing there, briefly caught off guard. Just give me my money! Yeah! One can only imagine the tension that filled the room as the heavyweight legend stood in that uncomfortable silence. Tyson, the man who once ruled the boxing world with sheer intimidation, was now the subject of a harmless yet embarrassing joke by his daughter. While anyone else might have felt humiliated or annoyed, Mike took the prank with grace. His face showed a moment of surprise, but he quickly broke into laughter, showing his softer side that has charmed fans in recent years. Milan, feeling a hit of guilt for the prank, later apologized to her father on social media, sharing a message on Instagram, Mike Tyson, I am sorry, but I love you though. It was a touching gesture, one that likely smoothed over any remaining awkwardness from the prank. While the prank showcased Milan's playful side, it's not the first time she has grabbed headlines for her interactions with her father. Milan, a passionate tennis player, is known for being fiercely loyal, particularly when it comes to her tennis idols. In December 2022, Mike Tyson found himself in hot water with his daughter after he voiced his admiration for tennis star Naomi Osaka during an episode of his podcast, Hot Boxing. Tyson casually mentioned that he believed Naomi Osaka might be the best tennis player right now, even over Serena Williams, much to Milan's dismay. I can't believe my daughter should be mad at me for being with the most beautiful and best player in the world, Tyson jokes. Despite the lighthearted nature of these father-daughter moments, Mike Tyson has something far more serious on his horizon, the upcoming fight with YouTube sensation Jake Paul. Set for November 15th at the Atant Stadium in Texas, this fight marks Tyson's return to professional boxing, his first since his fight with Kevin McBride in 2005. The idea of Mike Tyson fighting a social media star might sound absurd to some. After all, Tyson built his career on a foundation of ferocious knockouts, while Jake Paul's rise in boxing has been controversial to say the least. Yet the fight is happening, and Tyson has his reasons. In an interview, Tyson explained his mindset going into the fight. I don't think he can hurt me, the 58-year-old legend said with his signature confidence. But Tyson's motivation isn't just about proving his dominance. I'm a glory junkie. I love people thinking about me all day. I'd rather live a short life of glory than a long life of obscurity. It's just who I am. For Tyson, boxing was never just about the sport. It was about status, about chasing a sense of fulfillment that he admits he may never truly find. This is all I started fighting for. 
To get all this F status, I'm going to be chasing it for the rest of my life, I know that. I'm never going to get what I want because I'm one of those gluttons for pain. I can never get enough. That, what's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How are you going to knock me out? Who, who did move. he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out. At 58 years old, Tyson's candid reflection on his career reveals a complex relationship with fame and self-worth. Despite his age and the criticism that inevitably comes with a comeback of this nature, Tyson remains unapologetically true to himself. He's still chasing glory, still seeking validation, and for him, this fight with Jake Paul is another chapter in that never-ending pursuit. However, Tyson's confidence didn't sit well with Jake Paul who wasted no time delivering a brutal response to the viral prank video and Tyson's fighting talk. In a reaction video that Paul posted to his YouTube channel, he didn't hold back. You're out here getting embarrassed by your own daughter, Mike? Paul began. I mean, come on, man. I know Milan was just playing around, but if you can't handle a little joke from your kid, how are you gonna handle what I'm about to do to you in the ring? Paul continued, shooting up the intensity. You've got a lot of people thinking you're still the same guy who ruled the heavyweight division. But newsflash, Mike, you're not. You're 58 years old, man. You're getting clowned on TikTok and you're about to get clowned in the ring. It wasn't just about the prank for Paul, though. He took the opportunity to criticize Tyson's motivation for taking the fight. Mike, stop dancing on TikTok and come let me knock you out. Choosing to do it, but why is he choosing to do it? Well, he's doing it for one reason and one reason only, and that is the money. He's getting paid so much money to do this. So that tells me he's getting bought. So again, it is sad that someone like Mike Tyson can get bought because this guy is an absolute legend. He shouldn't be able to get bought like this. He's 57 years old. He needs to be in. Paul's words were nothing short of harsh and they only serve to build even more anticipation for their upcoming bout. For Paul, this fight represents more than just another win. It's an opportunity to solidify his place in the boxing world by defeating a living legend. Mike Tyson's return to the ring has been the subject of much discussion ever since he fought Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match back in November 2020. That fight, which ended in a controversial split decision draw, had fans divided. Many felt that Tyson had done enough to secure the win, but the nature of exhibition bouts left the result open to interpretation. Many years, a lot of people concerned about him returning to the ring against Jake Paul. What are they concerned about? Being, you know, of a certain vintage, should we say, should he be getting hit in the head by, admittedly, you know, not a conventional boxer, but still a young, physically fit, athletic man? Yeah, I mean, Mike Tyson knows how to defend himself, and he's boxing against a guy that not as good as boxer as he is. And Mike Tyson knows how to throw a good punch. He knows how to break you down. So I'm more concerned about the other guy. Still, the fact that Tyson could step into the ring at the age of 54 and hold his own against a fellow former champion like Jones Jr. was nothing short of impressive. It reignited the public's fascination with Tyson and his enduring legacy. Now, at 58, Tyson is preparing to do it all over again this time against a much younger and less experienced opponent in Jake Paul. While Mike's TikTok video is going around, Jake Paul has posted footage of himself dropping a sparring partner as he trains for Mike Tyson, but the clip has sparked widespread criticism and skepticism. The footage shows Paul landing a clean right hand that floors his sparring partner, and afterward, he turns to the camera and shouts, Don't charge at me, Tyson! The video was intended to hype up the upcoming bout, but the reaction from fans and critics alike was far from impressive. You probably heard the news, and it's true. I love wieners. So much. Many were quick to point out flaws in the sparring session, criticizing both Paul and his partner's performance. One fan commented, that dude had zero head movement, one of Mike's best attributes. This observation was significant, as Tyson is known for his signature head movement and ability to slip punches, which played a vital role in his legendary career. Another viewer said, Big Mike is going to take bro's head off his shoulders, implying that if Paul's sparring partner didn't present much of a challenge, Tyson would be a completely different and much more dangerous opponent. The skepticism didn't stop there. Some fans suggested that the entire sparring session was staged, with one commenting that the sparring partner looked like a paid actor. Another added, Jake ain't beating anyone up. 
downplaying Paul's abilities and hinting that the sparring clip was more of a publicity stunt than an accurate portrayal of his skills. The backlash suggests that despite his growing boxing record, many people are still unconvinced of Paul's legitimacy as a fighter, especially when stacked against a heavyweight icon like Mike Tyson. Paul's rise in the boxing world has been met with a mixture of admiration and disdain. While he's managed to win a series of high-profile fights against opponents like Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley, his critics argue that none of these fights have been against true boxers. His upcoming fight against Tyson is no different, with many questioning the decision to match a 58-year-old former heavyweight champion against a 27-year-old internet celebrity. One of the most vocal critics of the bout is boxing promoter Eddie Hearn, who has had multiple public disputes with Paul in the past. Hearn expressed his concerns about Tyson's health and well-being, particularly given the former champion's age and medical history. The reality is that 20 years ago, when Mike Tyson retired from the sport, he was shot, completely finished. Hearn told BBC Sport. It was actually sad to watch then. 20 years ago, Hearn went on to say that Tyson is a legendary fighter, but at 58, he should not be stepping into the ring again. You only need to speak to him and look at him to know this guy should not be in a ring again. You're asking the wrong guy. I'm a hardcore boxing fan. He's one of my heroes. I find it very sad. But it's a big event. I understand people are watching. And, uh, it's entertainment, I guess, but for uh, someone that idolized the guy growing up, yeah, not the best day. It's 58 Despite his criticism of the fight, Hearn made it clear that he still holds Tyson in high regard. I'm in awe of him. He's one of my favorite ever fighters, one of the greatest of all time, Hearn said. But he's a 58-year-old man. This idea matches a broader concern in the boxing community about the dangers of aging fighters returning to the ring, particularly when matched against younger and more physically capable opponents like Paul. Hearn even hinted that he would not stick around to watch the fight after his own event, the rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, suggesting that the Tyson-Paul fight was not something he could endorse in good conscience. Paul's decision to fight Tyson has been polarizing from the start. While some see it as another step in his attempt to build a legitimate boxing career, others view it as a publicity stunt designed to generate headlines and pay-per-view sales. Tyson, who last fought in an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, has insisted that he's ready to return to the ring, but his age and past medical issues have led many to question whether this is a good idea. Even the boxing legend Larry Holmes has issued a blunt warning to Jake Paul ahead of his fight against Mike Tyson. Holmes, one of the few men to have faced the wrath of Tyson in his prime, understands exactly what Paul will be up against and is offering him some stern advice on how to approach the fight. According to Holmes, Paul's best chance for survival is to rely on movement, strategy, and defense. Otherwise, the younger fighter could be in for a brutal experience. You're talking about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? Yes. Uh, are you interested at all in this? Oh, are you seriously talking about that? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Larry Holmes watched Mike Tyson train, and now he's saying uh, that the YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul may really have his hands full. Well, if anybody would know, it's Larry Holmes. Yeah. He said he watched it this morning. He watched some video footage, and he said Mike will be able to last two-minute rounds. There's special rules for this fight. And Mike comes to fight uh, when he puts uh, his mind to it. He goes to work on you, and that's what I've seen today. And if this guy tries to trade punches with... Holmes, who was knocked out by Tyson in 1988 in the fourth round after being floored three times, knows firsthand the kind of danger that Tyson brings to the ring. Even though Tyson is now 58 years old, Holmes believes that his knowledge of the sport, coupled with the explosive power he was once known for, still makes him a serious threat. The 1988 bout between Holmes and Tyson left a permanent mark on the former champion, and his respect for Tyson's boxing skills runs deep. This is why he emphasizes the need for Paul to approach the fight with extreme caution. Day two, I'm getting ready for you. <laughs> Two, three, four. 
Holmes' advice to Paul centers around movement and defensive tactics. If Jake moves like Larry Holmes did, around in circles, ducking punches, then he might be able to survive, Holmes told OLBG, offering a roadmap that relies on agility rather than direct engagement. Holmes was renowned for his jab and his ability to control the pace of a fight, often frustrating his opponents with constant movement and a tactical approach. He advises Paul to emulate these strategies, warning that standing still and trading punches with Tyson could be a disastrous mistake. Nice, come on, punch him. Yeah, yeah. Holmes highlighted the importance of the jab, stressing that Paul will need to use it frequently and effectively to keep Tyson at bay. He has to bang that jab out, Holmes said. Block what he throws and throw back. If he doesn't fight Mike Tyson smartly, using movement and jabs, he won't win. This isn't just general advice. Holmes is pointing to the specific skills that will be required if Paul is to stand any chance of success against the former heavyweight champion. The jab, in particular, was one of Holmes' most effective weapons throughout his career, and he believes Paul will need to rely on it heavily to disrupt Tyson's rhythm. August, I'm back, baby. Holmes was also clear about what would happen if Paul tries to go punch for punch with Tyson. If he tries to trade punches, he's not going to win. Holmes stated bluntly, the danger of trading shots with a powerful and experienced boxer like Tyson, even in his later years, is significant. Tyson, even at 58, has maintained his ferocity and sharpness in the ring, as seen in his 2020 exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. Holmes knows all too well how Tyson's aggressive style can overwhelm even the most seasoned fighters, and he's warning Paul that standing his ground could lead to a quick end to the fight. In the water, all over there, there's a seed bag that the hash gets caught into. When you step down, um, Tim's gonna pull up uh, some hash for us. Why do I feel like I'm on Everest Mountain? Because you're the highest man alive. <laughs> The only way he wins the battle is if he runs, Holmes added, suggesting that Paul's survival in the ring may depend on him staying out of Tyson's reach. Holmes repeated the importance of jabbing and moving, warning that failure to do so would result in a knockout. If he doesn't use his jab and movement, it's good night, Irene. He's in trouble if he does not use his jab. This colorful warning from Holmes encapsulates the risk that Paul is taking by stepping into the ring with a boxer as seasoned and dangerous as Tyson. Holmes is essentially telling Paul that the fight will be over quickly if he doesn't use every defensive tool at his disposal. Holmes also emphasized that timing and precision will be crucial for Paul. You have to beat Tyson to the punch, use the jab, and be first, Holmes said. In the heat of battle, the first fighter to land a clean shot often takes control of the fight. For Paul, this means he will have to be fast, accurate, and constantly on the lookout for openings to strike. According to Holmes, when the bell rings, Tyson is going to come at Paul aggressively, and Paul will need to respond with a strong right hand or a powerful left hook to stop the forward momentum. When the bell rings, Tyson's going to run at him, and he'll have to stop Mike with a strong right hand and left hook. Reflecting on his own experience with Tyson, Holmes cautioned that respect is everything when fighting a boxer of Tyson's caliber. If Paul doesn't make a strong impression early on, Tyson could dominate him from the outset. If he doesn't get Mike's respect early, Mike is going to run over him, believe me, Holmes said, noting that Paul will need to land a hard, clean shot early in the fight to keep Tyson from overwhelming him. He has to hit Mike hard right off the bat, otherwise it's good night, Irene. If he can do that, he's got it made. But Mike is going to do that too, so it's going to come down to who hits first. For Jake Paul, this fight represents the biggest challenge of his boxing career. Stepping into the ring with Mike Tyson, even a 58-year-old Tyson, requires a level of skill, preparation, and respect that Paul may not have faced in his previous matches. Holmes's advice is clear. Without smart tactics, effective jabs, and constant movement, 
Paul could find himself in serious trouble. For Paul to stand a chance, he'll need to follow Holmes' game plan and avoid falling into the trap of trying to match Tyson's power. Only time will tell if Paul can take Holmes' advice to heart and avoid the same fate that befell so many fighters who faced Tyson in his prime. But what's your take? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you in the next one.